My name is Jake, and my son is Danny. He plays hockey, and he loves it. And I, I can't put it any more simpler or difficult than that. I sort of had a feeling he had a problem when he was a baby, because every time we called him, he glanced in a different direction without getting his attention. I'm a little bit deaf on my left ear, so I had to listen for my right. It actually got more focus on his hearing impairment because of hockey, because he wasn't paying attention when he needs to. Some of the coaches, I, I think, took it as a disrespect because he kept walking away when they would talk to him. That's when I realized and I saw that and I, I told the coach, look, it's, he's not trying to disrespect you. He just can't hear you. If you talk loud, you'll, you'll, you'll see. And that's when they started doing that, when Danny started paying attention more. Danny holds a special something because we all know that he does have a hearing impairment. His dad made that clear to, the, to myself, the manager, and to the coaches from day one. And we've all told the kids to say, look, you know, make sure you yell a little louder. He's not ignoring you. My ear doesn't really hold me back from playing hockey. Coach usually like speaks loud, so in this case I listen a little more, so that usually helps me. And I'm always screaming out, Fight for that puck, go get him! I, I guarantee you half the time he doesn't even hear me. And I know that, and, but I can't help it. it. It's like when he's on the ice, I'm on ice with him. Yeah! Good, yeah, that's passing, baby! He's usually like skating on the ice and skating and shoot with me. He makes me work out, stick handle, um, like um, skate around, all that. I feel like he's now my hockey coach for like home and then the ice. I try to keep it fun so this way he doesn't see his hard work. Because you know, it is hard work. And, but that's anything, that's with school, that's with. Uh, Everything you do, just keep it fun and it'll become easy. As we had the tryouts for the Junior Knights travel team, uh, he did come try out and the coaches put him what they call on the bubble, meaning he just wasn't exactly there. They weren't maybe the first pick for the travel team. And as we were putting the team together, I kind of went around to some of the other coaches in the rink and, and asked their opinion to say, you know, what do you think? Is he that next player that we can take up off the bubble? And everyone, you know, said yes. He was that one because they knew his heart was in it and we were, everyone was seeing him make those strides. So I went and looked at Danny and evaluated him, invited him out, and he made the team. But he made the team on conditions. Uh, that he had to still go to skate and shoot. He was kind of on as a temporary player. He's almost like a rink rat, that's what they call him. So he's here every shoot and skate, you know, at night skating, public skate. The more time he spent, the better he got. Like all this work, you have to like um, do all these drills that are really hard. you got to never give up, all that. And I like pushing myself to like get better and get stronger. He's just the type of guy that doesn't want to fail. So. I tell them it's a like, practice. That's the whole point, to fail so you get better. So when it comes on a game, you don't. You can win this game. You can beat these guys. I know you can. Behind a good player is always a parent that supports them. As far as I'm concerned, I'm really happy that he found the sport. For you know, now he's on the travel team. So, hey, uh, I'm kind of proud of him. He worked hard for it and then showed. Like my other son, he's a wonderful piano player. Tell me a recital when he has a recital, I'll be right there in the front seat cheering on my son because he loves that. It's 
So coming into this weekend, you know, the two teams we were playing, we had no clue how we were going to do. It's good to see them all come together and watch someone with Danny's spirit, you know, lift the team up. This is a team that basically nobody in the organization really wanted them because they were a mixture of recreational players and travel players. And every time you see them, you know, go win a game or move the puck, play position, you know, play as a group, and the biggest thing you see is a smile on their face, that's when you really feel you've done your job.